Yo, sister, we gossiping right now with these girls. Did you, did you like that? <laughs> you cut out. You cut out, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> I did, you didn't hear anything? I was just blowing bubbles into my drink. That was the start. <laughs> Okay, I was so confused because you went dead silent. I was like, well, <laughs> ask me because I can't hear you now. <laughs> yeah, that was the start. I was just waiting. It was just going to be like five seconds of silence before we started the episode. <laughs> just to leave everyone in suspense. Okay. I was so confused. Well, welcome to Sister Girl Gossip. Oh my god. Oh my god, did you it. That, that. Girl, look at that. Eat it, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> You're too slow, skink. <laughs> Uh, but this is where we are talking about random crap that's gone on in our lives. And today we're talking about our senior trip. So I don't know. And when was our senior trip again? 2013. 2013. We're old. We're, we're crusty. Old bugs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know how common it is for people to take senior trips with their whole class. Uh, I know since we went to like a, a preppy, a preppy rich kid Christian school. Um, yep, there were only sixty of us who yeah, went. <laughs> there was always sixty of us in our graduated class. So for like a congrats, like you actually made it and didn't kill yourself. Um, we all got to go to Disney World together. We lost a few along the way. But... We did. There was like varying <laughs> circumstances. Like some people got expelled. Some people some like people you know brought. Pregnant. Some people got pregnant. <laughs> some people brought uh, weapons to school. You know, standard school things. You know, you know, because kids will be kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was on um, the cereal box. Girl. Yeah. What cereal box you talking? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a Your thing? Ladies? What am I thinking of? It's like there's like a where a kid can be a kid. That's um Great Wolf Lodge, I think. <laughs> okay, <You> idiot. <laughs> sure. Uh, well, it, that's not on the sign for Great Wolf Lodge. It's um, something. It it is something. But so we got to go on a senior trip. Uh, it was not entirely like paid for by the school. I think we had to end up. We had to work. We had to clean up after football games. We had to sell um, concessions in between breaks. <laughs> and then we had to give them like $1,000. Yeah, it was kind of messed up how they like wrote off us going on this senior trip. Because Other taxes. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, because they got like free labor at the, uh, the sports. Yes. Like foot- was it just football or was it also basketball? No, it was just football. Okay. But you had the Friday nights, right? Yeah, like you had the big games. Yeah. I had the little like junior varsity. Like I had the nobody games. So literally no one was pooping in the toilets. No one messed up the stands. Oh, uh, see, I didn't do anything with the toilets. I just cleaned up the trash afterwards. And there was like 80, like, I, there's not even 80 seniors in our class, but there was like 40 seniors, you know, just going up and down the bleachers. So it took us like Girl, 10, 15 the minutes. The up thing was was they made me clean toilets. See, I Every was never part of toilet. that. <laughs> it was me and Jordan. We were stuck cleaning toilets while everyone else, all the cool people, got to go up in the stands and clean the stands and not get their hands dirty. <laughs> yeah, I, I was, was sitting there the... cleaning shit out of the toilet. I was one of the cool people. And they even gave some people like those like trash sticks. You like you the poke the bigger uppers. Mm-hmm. So I didn't the have to I pipe. didn't have to touch trash. I just had to use the stick. <laughs> Yeah, so y'all were a part of the rich preppy people. I had to sit there and do real work. So <laughs> there was still classism. There was still yeah. classism based on who was picking up what trash. They knew that I lived next to a trailer park. <laughs> but yeah, no, okay, it was... I'm going to say a bunch of letters and I'm sorry I'm at McDonald's. So keep going. Oh, okay. McDonald's Hi, I have a mobile order. <laughs> Just picking up McDonald's. Number? M Y three one. Okay, Zach? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I just had to take a moment while you were getting your order. But no, it was basically like free labor for them. Like they didn't have to like pay anyone to work concessions or pick up trash. Like they've like probably made more money by just having the seniors do it than like hiring people to actually work the stands. Yeah, but I mean, I wish we would have seen that money, like what we were making. I wish we would have right. seen how much we made because it was probably like 20 bucks a game. 
because they gave us the money allowances once we actually got there. And that's literally what it was a day. It was like $15. <laughs> you go to Disney World, a meal is literally $20 just for yourself. And they right. gave us 15 bucks a day to eat. They're like, <laughs> you can split it with a friend. Good luck. <laughs> It's like the hunger, yeah. it's like literally the Hunger Games where it's take like, your partner. Yeah, <laughs> you have to thumb wrestle for the meal, and if you lose, then you just don't eat for the day. <laughs> yes, stupid. But that was how we got the money to go on the senior trip. Is we were working football games um, every day for football season, or like every week for football season, and then we also had to pony up an extra thousand dollars of our own money. Um, yes. so that was like up to you to like figure out how to get that money. I know a lot of people, because like I said, rich preppy kids, a lot of like their parents were just like, here's the money. Like, yeah, here you go. <laughs> I think I, I was, our parents are sitting there like, yeah, what? I'm going to say, I'm assuming it was the same thing with like, uh, you as it was for me where my parents were like, hey, good luck. <laughs> no, my, well, luckily I had a job like I was working at Marco's so most of that money for the trip came from my pocket because my parents are paying that shit ton of tuition right so I was like y'all don't worry about it I got it like <laughs> yeah so I I paid for mine I think my parents like gave me like a couple hundred dollars but I paid for the majority of mine from my like odd jobs I had in high school I bet your Reagan didn't have to do that Oh no, Reagan 100% had her parents pay for it. Her like doctor, mom and dad, 100% they paid for it. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to think like uh, leading up to it because that's how we got the money. And I'm trying to think leading up. And that up was months of work. Like we literally had to do like five or six months of work because we also had to work that concession stand. Oh yeah. It was a lot of like extra work that probably, I, I'm sure they still do it today, but like I don't think like if. <laughs> like an actual like administration like walked through that and like saw what they're doing that they would get a free pass for it yes um was there any like weird drama before the trip i'm trying to think if like there was any like weird circumstances before we like actually well wasn't the trip. wasn't that the year that Alyssa and Leighton got expelled yes because they got pregnant so Alyssa got pregnant and she got expelled and so all the girls were acting weird the entire time. And then um, that was the year that Bleach won Homecoming Queen. Mm -hmm. And all the senior girls were upset about it, bullying her like in the locker room. And that's when administration called us all in a week before the trip. And they're like, we're going to cancel your trip because you treated her like oh, this. Oh, that's right. Like all the girls. And you not just like expel the girls. Yeah, like <laughs> all the girls, all the boys. And granted, like we've already paid a thousand dollars. Yes. They were just going to like, keep and then the we're going to, yeah, absolutely. They were like, this is going to go towards your tuition later. <laughs> <laughs> your future tuition. But no, I remember they were going to cancel the trip because of that. And we were all like, why can't you just cancel it for the girls? Cause they're the ones being bitches. Yeah. Like, I remember because I, did they bring like pastor uh, Greg in or something? To it was talk pastor to us? Greg. Yes. Yeah. And he's scary. Yeah, and I remember like going into that meeting, like ha having no idea what was going on. And then he sits us down, no. and, like starts talking about like bullying and gossip, and I'm like, "What the heck is going on?" <laughs> yeah, that was insane. That because <laughs> because it's I, so unfair. I think like three fourths of the guys had no idea what was going on, and then like probably like at least a fourth of the girls had no idea what was going on. So like it was just like no, half. it was a, it was definitely targeted. Like five of those girls were the issue because they were the ones who were nominated. Right. So when all that went down, it should have been those five girls, but they blamed the whole entire senior class and almost got us like no trip. Well, you know, that's well, and then they tried to cancel the trip from the year before because they were stealing lamps and stuff like that. Well, yeah. <laughs> Can I also get some of the wick sauce, please? Or the, the McDonald's sauce, the red chili sauce, whatever it is. You don't have it anymore. Heartbreaking. Okay. <laughs> they're gone. They've they've all gone back to Japan. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Sorry you couldn't get your uh, chili sauce. I couldn't get my Japanese sauce. It's really heartbreaking. <laughs> um, so that was the drama before the trip. Um, well, but you know, um, that's also like... But like I was saying, like I was saying, the senior class before us was stealing the lamps and all that stuff from the hotel rooms and then they got caught. So we almost didn't get to go on the senior trip, period. Oh, yeah, because they almost ruined it for us. 
I forgot. About yes. That. Yeah, I was. I mean, that would have been par for the course, though, because I don't think we've said it yet. But like our class uh, in general, we were the class that ruined everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, we didn't even ruin anything. We were just known as that class. Like even our like our senior shirts, like we had like hashtag that class on them. Because Would you know what? Stanton took my shirt. I paid for a shirt. Stanton fucking took mine. And then they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. We ran out. <laughs> You're joking. That's like, I, I had to go up to Amanda, little redhead Amanda, and be like, what the hell? And then she ended up giving me my money back. But I was like, this is stupid. Cody that's, didn't pay for it and got my goddamn shirt. That's pretty funny. He's just and like, then y'all wear them to Disney without me. Well, I was gonna, of course I was going to wear mine. I got mine. So fucked up. Yeah. (laughs) But yeah, we were known as that class because like just for some reason, our class always got in trouble for things like other classes, like before and after us did like perfectly fine. We got candles banned. We We got, um, Uh, sidewalk chalk. It was like, we got sidewalk chalk banned. Sidewalk. Like we got a whole lot of shit banned. So, I mean, we were that class. Yeah. I mean, that was part of like our, a little side tangent. Um, like our, most schools have like a senior prank that they do. Um, I think I don't even remember what the one before us was like. They went like in, they like filled up a, a classroom with like balloons or something. Yeah. It, like, well, the senior class after us, because I guess it was Pastor Witt's kid that graduated. They picked up um, Coach did, Birch's did, car did, and put say, it did, on the football field. I was going to say, did they put a car? I thought they put it in the school. Is it in the football field? No, it was on the football field. Okay. There's no way they could have gotten that into the school. Yeah. <laughs> but so, yeah, um, but we uh, we drew on the sidewalk and we got in trouble and had us to clean it off. No, nothing dirty. So nothing dirty. Stupid. There was nothing bad. We were it. saying good luck to the or have a great summer, you know, all that other crap. And they were threatening to expel us. <laughs> yeah. Like signing our names, drawing like cute pictures. And then our, that, we that didn't was even too do far, a senior though. prank. We didn't do it senior prank. No, we that, ran through the halls. Yeah. That's all we did. Yeah. I mean, cause I think technically that was going to be our senior prank. Yeah. Everyone else can literally piss all over the walls and slap the coach in the face. And it's just fine. Oh, it's just a prank. Yeah. <laughs> it was just our, our class, class. You know, our class. We were the, <laughs> we're the bad ones apparently, but no, we literally didn't do anything bad. <laughs> Dumb. So now let's fast forward a little bit. We are going on the senior trip. I was a maniac. Going. I'm going to have to like show some of this footage. Uh, you have to show YouTube. clips <laughs> because I was a maniac and this was, Oh my God. I can't even say Girl, it. Was, we were high I was on fucking, life. 18 like yeah probably should not have been taking videos the way i was like it was like i look back at them now and like they're so like cringeworthy Cringy. yes they're <laughs> so bad um yes. i was in everyone's face I, i'm not surprised like no one like hit me in the face at some point girl remember i was like smacking gum the entire time or what? <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell I was on either. Yeah, so I was recording stuff. I can't remember. I think we all got to the airport okay. There was nothing wrong at the airport. We got on the plane fine. Cameron, the stupid Cameron, the blonde Cameron. Oh, yeah. Um, the one that was like, we're going to flip the pontoon over. <laughs> he was late. He, he almost late. didn't make it. Oh, yeah, he almost didn't make it on the plane. <laughs> yes. I do remember that. And then. The only there's two other things I remember about the airplane experience. One I remember our stewardess. Do you remember her? Go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep as soon as the lights turn out. Literally, like the lights turn out. Like and we're like <laughs> 10, 15 minutes into the flight. Um, and we're like at cruising altitude. The lights turn off, and then she just comes on unannounced. Go to sleep. Ghost. <laughs> like a freaking like horror movie demon yes <laughs> horrifying stuff it's so funny um, and then i remember um because we were in the very back of the plane the person next to us was awesome it didn't even take him two seconds he was already bent and half asleep <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh that's another character from our class uh austin uh it didn't matter when where or like how loud it was um, if he sat still for more than like two seconds, he'd fall asleep. It was actually kind of impressive, but I, I don't know. Yeah. How I, did it. I wish I could fall asleep like that. Um, 
the only other thing I can remember on the airplane ride was Morgan. <laughs> Do you remember? That's she was crying the entire time. <laughs> she was curled up with Mrs. Warren and crying because her ears wouldn't pop. Yeah, Morgan, I guess at some point, couldn't pop her ears. And like for two days... It was like two days, could not she pop her ears. Stop crying. And was crying nonstop, like two days at Disney World. Like she has like her Minnie Mouse ears on, like polka dot <laughs> sh- skirt, tears rolling down her eyes the entire time, hugging Mrs. Yes. Warren. <laughs> and everyone was telling her how to pop her ears, and she would she not just do couldn't, it. She was she too couldn't afraid. Figure, <laughs> I forgot. She, I thought she couldn't do it. She was too no, she was afraid. afraid that That's what that hurt. was. Well, yeah. I was like, it's going to hurt. I'll be able to hear her. I don't think it's ever hurt to pop my ears. No, it's uh, just a little shock. Also, like, I have to know, like, how do you go through 18 years of life and never <laughs> pop your ears? It scared her. It freaked her out because <laughs> Mrs. Warren literally had to turn her to her and be like, you are OK. You do not need to cry like this. She was crying like a child. It was as an 18 year old adult. It, I had got some secondhand embarrassment because she was she in our group. We had like groups. Yes. We yeah, had like big groups. A- we had like uh, four groups of like 20 or something. And then we like broke out into like small, like five person yeah, groups. Be groups of three. Uh, yeah, but that didn't last. There was like groups of like seven people running around. Yeah. Um, as long as we weren't in groups of two or else Pastor Greg was going to expel us and send us back home. Yeah. <laughs> Which was like, what? Yeah, that was that was weird. Um, and you're not going to be able to graduate. You're going to have to do senior year all over again at Broken Arrow High School. <laughs> oh, girl, I had a dream the other day that um, for some reason, um, like my senior year didn't count. Like something happened <laughs> and I had to like go back to Lincoln and redo my senior year like as like a 28 year old man. Uh uh-uh. uh, I would have rather have just taken my GED class, <laughs> girl. Well, no, for some reason, like that was the only option. Like I had to like stop my entire life to go back to school. That is literally awful. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a bit of a nightmare. God. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so Morgan was crying for two days straight because her ears wouldn't pop. That was an interesting experience. We actually, what hotel did we stay at? I can't remember. Was it? Was it? We Pop-up were Central, at. Was it? We were at. I know it was one all, like we yeah, all star. It might have been all star. I think it might have been all star. It was one of the cheaper no. Ones. We were at Pop Century. Was it Pop Century? I can. I know it was one of like yeah. the cheaper ones, but I couldn't remember. Yeah, we were at Pop Century. Because I remember um, we had to like bunk with what was it three or four people? <gasps> was, no, we weren't at Pop Century. We were at Port Orleans Riverside. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's Because I was like, I remember I would see the ferry boats all the time. Yeah, I thought there was a lot of water around us. I was like, I feel like Pop Century, like, yes. is it near water? <laughs> yes. We were at Riverside. Mm-hmm. That makes more sense. Um, And were you in our room? I can't remember what the bunk situation was. Yeah, it was me and Nathan and you and Cody. Yeah. So it was the four of us in a room sharing two, I want to say it was like twin beds. They were not big beds. No, they weren't big. I think they were full size. Okay. They were full. Okay. That's doable. Yeah. Um, but I remember that's when it started. The, uh, the smacking is when it started that first night. That was on the plane. It did start on the plane because you were you chewing need to go back and watch that video. gum. You were chewing gum. Chris had, we like must have all like got like some crack like in our system somehow. Like there must have been like someone giving out cookies or something that were laced with like some narcotics or something because we were all <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy people. Good morrow, moonlight. The earth says die. And on the plane, you were chewing gum and then for like a clip in that video you started smacking like a madman so you were doing that anytime i pointed the camera at you um (laughs) and i can't remember what was our first day where did we go was it epcot we went to um 
the Fort Wilderness barbecue. It was with like Chip and Dale. That's right, because we got in, we got to the hotel, and then we went to that, that barbecue the first day. Yes. And we had like, a, we all like dance. This actually was like a really cool experience. I, Cause I don't think I've ever done anything like this in the times I've been to Disney where like you like basically got to dance with like Mickey and Goofy and like have like a country like line dance. <laughs> and then a little roundup gear. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty cool. That was actually one of the cooler experiences and I've, that I've totally forgotten. Yes. That was, that was a fun night and the food was actually really good too. And Morgan was crying the entire time. And Morgan was crying the entire time. I'm gonna have to like look through these clips now and see if I can like find like if I'm see like, her bawling your eyes yeah, out. Yeah, let's see if I can like if I'm like panning by or something. And she's like in the corner bawling. <laughs> it's like where's Waldo? <laughs> but like where's Morgan's tears? Yes, so funny. <laughs> um, so that was the first night. Second day, we get up at like oh my god, like five o'clock in the morning. Something. Yeah, they made us wake up at the ass crack of dawn. <laughs> something every I could not do. Now. Um. Every day. <laughs> I know Magic Kingdom was our last night. I cannot for the life of me remember what the first night was. The first day <gasps> it was, was... It was Hollywood Studios. Animal was Kingdom. Was it Animal Kingdom? It wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was It was Studios, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was Studios. Because the day we did Animal Kingdom, it was a half day. And we went to Pleasure Island or whatever at night. Hollywood Studios, I remember not being super crazy. That might have been the most normal day so far. Yeah, because we were all exhausted from the day before. Um, no one had been sleep deprived yet. You still were smacking yeah. all the time in every single yes. trip. Here they come. Get out of the way, Chris. And I'm trying to remember our group mainly consists, because like I said earlier, we had like groups of 20 that were kind of like pre-picked for us. So we were Well, all... we put in our preferences, but... That's right. But it was... I mean, we put in our preferences, but they kind of picked out of a hat, basically. They knew who. Yeah. Yes. Um, so there was 20 seniors in a group. And out of those 20, we could break off into like groups of three or four. Um, yes. No one abided by that. It was always like groups of like seven or eight. And there was not in the same group. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I think our group for the most part, mainly consisted of me, it was you, me Nathan. you, it was you, me, Nathan and Cody. And I don't know if the first day, if it was like this, but I know as the days went on, it was Wesley, Ashley and Cameron were also in our group. I don't think that lasted though. No, because him and Cody would sneak off and do whatever they did. Yeah, They went out and like made out in the bushes or something. <laughs> yes. Um, also girl, can you put a pause? Cause I have to pee. Yes. <laughs> or you keep talking and I'm going to go pee real quick. Cool. I, I will give my synopsis. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> of Hollywood Studios. Um, I don't remember anything like overtly crazy about Hollywood Studios. I remember, you know, like I said, Chris was smacking all over the place like a fool. Um, you know, you, you got. Uh, t- oh, my God. Never mind. Tower of Terror. We will have to come back to Tower Terror when Chris gets done. Um, Because I remember Rock and Roller Coaster, which is like one of their crazier roller coasters. Uh, We did like right away. We got that out of the way because it's going to be like super busy. Rise you get in the park. Did that one. And then we went to Tower of Terror. Okay, I'm back. Girl, you ready for what I'm about to say? I was talking about like, oh, nothing really crazy happened at Hollywood Studios. And I forgot there was one incident at Hollywood Studios that I remember. Do you know what I'm referring to? You're going to have to jog my memory because that I don't know. Okay, so there's a ride at Hollywood Studios. And uh, this ride, it hurts my stomach when I go on it. Oh, (laughs) yes. (laughs) So I I was very adamant about not going on the ride, but... I think it was me, you... you being a pussy. Yeah, you, you, uh, Nathan, and Ashley, and Cody were like, get on the ride. Like, don't be a baby. Get on the ride. <laughs> no, it was Janelyn. <gasps> it was Janelyn. But it's okay, though, because, like, I got on the ride anyway. So, like, she did what she needed to do. And then we yeah. never saw her again. <laughs> her uh, her fucking weird braided hair. Yeah. It, it was just like a, a gypsy in the wind. Like, she came by, t- said I was a bitch, and then we never saw her again. 
Literally, and then she moved to Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I went on the ride knowing full well it was going to upset my stomach. And I think it was me, you, Ashley, and it was either Cody or Nathan that were sitting in a row. 100% Nathan. It was okay. So it was me, you, Nathan, and Ashley. Um, and I was, I think, in the middle. I think I was two. I was like the second or third one and f- someone thought of the great idea to like hold up a number 2013. To, we were all going to hold up a number for our graduating year. So I was holding up uh, a one. <laughs> all I had to do was like hold up one finger in the air. You had like a two Cody was holding up or Nathan was holding up a zero and Ashley was holding up a three. Mm-hmm. Um, and honey, you couldn't even do it. No. <laughs> so we got up to the top and I thought the picture was a little bit before. And I knew like as soon as we took the picture that I was going to grab the handrail because I was not about to go down this ride. Without, free falling? W- yeah. Uh, free falling? No. I If I could hold on to something, I could like kind of negate the effects a little bit. But as soon as we started free falling, I grabbed for <laughs> the handrail. So if you look back at the picture, I'm pretty sure it's just like 203. <laughs> 203. <laughs> because I couldn't get the damn And you look like you're about up. to barf. I, I like have like one hand. I like like I I'm all sad and sassy. Like I'm just like mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll just see if I can find that picture. It's such a funny picture. Um and I was like, I can't do it again. There's no way because Ashley and Nathan are like, oh, let's do it one more time. The line's not long. We can do it one more time. I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. (laughs) So you bought that picture. Yep, that's the one I kept. (laughs) You bought that picture. And and then like as soon as you as soon as you bought it, I was like, I think I could do it. (laughs) I like I think I could go back on the ride. I think I got one more in me. And then we did it again. We did it again. And I bought that picture too. <laughs> oh, you did? I didn't think you bought that picture. I bought almost everything. Okay. But I did get it on the second try. Yes. But that's that's not like, I mean, that picture doesn't mean anything now. It, t- 203 is the picture that's like, that's iconic. That's the one that made memories. Yeah. 203 was iconic. 2013, get out of here. It was just so funny. Um, so that that was kind of Hollywood Studios. I don't really remember anything else like crazy happening well, in Hollywood Studios. Everything is so full circle because we went and saw Fantasmic. And little did I know <laughs> that would be my home. Little did you know, like, seven years later that you would be... Ten years later. <laughs> ten? Well, I mean, whatever. Oh, and also, none of you heard what character you just said. Oh, then. yes. He he played <laughs> uh, the boat. He was the uh, the tugboat. Yes. Not that well known of a character, but that is played by just a single person. Miss Steamboat Willie. Yeah. <laughs> um. So that was Hollywood Studios. Pretty simple day. And then. And then the exhaustion hit. <laughs> the exhaustion hit as we went to Epcot. Yes. And Epcot is where things went crazy. <laughs> That's when people start having sex with each other. <laughs> oh, girl, no. <laughs> I don't think so. I just remember we woke up on Epcot Day. I made Cole record himself singing It's a Whole New World with smacking in it. Yeah, I was like, it's a whole, it's a whole new, new world. <laughs> wow. <world. laughs> it's a whole new and then we were we met up. Um, Cody Stanton was pissed off at us because we didn't go and eat breakfast with him because we were told to bring breakfast snacks with us. So we had the money to eat lunch and dinner. But he also like got up to go get breakfast at like fucking like five o'clock in the morning. But that's an expensive meal. So we were like, no, yeah, we're going to eat what we were told to eat. <laughs> so we have more money for the later today. Yeah, to eat. And Cody was a, Cody was a little bit more well off than the three of us were. Yes. Well, Nathan was well off too, but his parents, you know, didn't like him. Yeah, he's so. Nathan, so. Oh, we love you, Nathan. Yeah, <laughs> he's the best. 
But um, that's how Epcot started. And then it did kind of derail from there because <laughs> it derailed pretty fast. I remember we all went on test track like first. Um, yes. And that was fine. And then I remember I rode with the other Cody in our car, the one that fell off the slide. We named our car something stupid because I remember you could name the cars. We named ours Hot Sex. Hot Sex. That's what, yep, yeah, that's what I remembered. I remembered it was like Hot Sex and like something apples, like Sexy Apple or something. Yes. <laughs> and so, I mean, that was pretty normal. We rode like the rides um, over there and then it only started getting crazy around lunchtime because it's, I you'll have to forgive me because I haven't been to Disney World in a, a while. Soren is in Epcot, right? Yes. Okay. In the Living with the Land Pavilion. That's when it started getting crazy is when we got around to like the outskirts of Epcot and started doing those different um, locations. Because I remember, was it Germany? There was like a boat ride. I don't remember what the, the ride is. No, it's in, um, uh, oh, for the love of God, uh, wherever else is from. Norway. <laughs> I think I think the that's Viking. right. It was, like a, it was like a Viking boat ride, and I can't remember the name of it because it, it was like it was like some you know Norwegian. I know what you're talking about. Um, and we had just ate lunch. Um, we had just ate lunch, and we were all in line. It was me, you, Cody, and Nathan. And you had I don't you you might have to recount this story because I don't really know like what happened to brought it up to bring it on. I just know like I reacted to it and then it was like cemented in history. We it was after lunch. We went to go ride the three caballeros in Mexico. That and sounds about right. I am exhausted at this point because none of us are sleeping. And I bumped into Cole and I tried to say, I'm sorry, <laughs> not a dotten day. <laughs> that point that little stroke became the only thing we said for the last three days of the trip it was the literal only thing that came out of our mouths it was just so crazy because i i think I was just kind of like in a daze. I was like, just kind of in my own head. And then you were living <laughs> girl. I was just living my life. And then I don't even remember you like hitting me. I just remember like, I felt, I think you like touched me and then you turned and then you looked at me like dead in the face. And like with a smile, <laughs> you're just like, Dalton day. <laughs> <laughs> and it just, that's it. I was just like, Dang. what, what did you say to me? <laughs> And then you were like, I tried to say, I'm sorry. (laughs) Girl, it did not come out. I'm sorry. That was the funniest day ever. And it, so that's where things started to kind of derail. You can see Um, like where our, our minds were to the fact that where Chris's I'm sorry comes out as Dotton day. Dotton day. Um, so that just kind of like cements the entire rest of, the trip our lives much <laughs> we said for like years correct <laughs> um i don't remember if anything else happened in Ep- epcot at that point i think that was that was about it well there was when we rode on maelstrom that stupid mom she was flipping out because we were turning around about to go backwards and he kept getting in her face they were like oh i'm making stupid faces at <laughs> <about> our kid <laughs> <laughs> I was like screaming and being weird. Yeah, I, we did get a lot of weird looks because we were being weird. I, it's because we literally haven't slept for like 48 hours at this point. Screaming dot and day at each other. <laughs> yeah, it's just literally scarring children. And you're at the same time as your Dot and Dane, you're also smacking at the same time. <laughs> so it's everyone on the senior trip was so sick of us by Epcot. Oh, and yeah. that's only like day two. Oh yeah, there's still like two more days and then a travel day after that. Oh, so funny. Um, and then Animal Kingdom was up next 
Yes. And I don't remember much about Animal Kingdom in terms of like crazy shenanigans. We were just very tired and sunburned by we were Animal very tired, Kingdom. Sunburned, and we were still same dot and day, and you were still smacking. Girl, everybody see those animals? Dot day. Dot and day. <laughs> Do a day on. Yes. Nothing fun really happened at Animal Kingdom. It was when we took a break. We went to the hotel around like dinner time, mm -hmm. and we all went to the pool. And Chase and Cody snuck off again, <laughs> and we were all like, "Oh my god, what's happening in our bedroom?" Because they <laughs> went to our room. <laughs> of course they did. Because uh, after that, we were going to eat dinner, and then we were going to go to Disney Springs, which back then was called Downtown Disney. I forgot about that. And um, we were given the rules right before we left because we all got on one of those ferry boats. Pastor Greg was like, if any of you go through P Pleasure Island, I will <laughs> personally send you back to the hotel pack and you will go home and you are expelled. Girl, like, I remember. I forgot Pleasure. I don't even think I've ever been inside Pleasure Island. So you might have to explain Pleasure Island to me. So Pleasure Island was basically the adult part of downtown Disney. And it had all of the bars and the clubs. It was basically just a place for clubbing and drinking. That was all gotcha. it was. Yeah, we, but we now, didn't go there. Yeah, now Disney Springs, I don't even know where Pleasure Island freaking was. Like, <laughs> Did they just so like, get rid of now. it? <laughs> yeah, it's completely gone. Oh, wow. What a shame. But um, that night, I can really remember is we went into like World of Disney and that was like it. We were just walking around. There was nothing to do. <laughs> we were literally like just zombies at this point. Just like yes. struggling to stay as alive. Like just like out of pure uh, spite and hope uh, trying to yes. wait through so we can see Magic Kingdom. And then Magic Kingdom happened. <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot about Animal Kingdom. Um, there was two things I, I just remembered that I am now piecing together. Tell me, girl. The first thing, which is such such a small thing, but like it stood out in my memory so much because it disgusted me so much. Um, yeah. It was like me, you, Nathan, Cody, Ashley, Cameron, and Chase. I think we're like in line, like get pictures with characters. Um, it was like uh -huh. blue or something. Um, and you were doing something with your knee. And oh, I was popping my knee in and yeah, out. Yeah, you like. <laughs> Something happened, and I don't know how it got brought up, but I just remember turning to you at one point, and you were popping your knee in and out of place. And for everyone that like can't visually see it, when I say he was popping his knee out of place, I mean he might as well have been like p doing like a three sixty around his leg with his kneecap. <laughs> yes, it was. I was so talented. Disgusting. <laughs> That was like the only time I've been concerned about you like being a dancer. I was like, that's problematic. It never got better. <laughs> and he still dances to this day. <laughs> yes, I do. Not as much as I used to, but yes. Um, and then the second thing I remember is that was also the start of the side plot of Nathan and Ashley, which I think we should probably bring up now. Yes, but I didn't really notice it until Magic Kingdom. I noticed, uh, which was the next day. Yeah, I noticed it in Animal Kingdom, but I didn't really think much of it. But Magic Kingdom is when it got a little more noticeable. Yes. So the next day, we're all fucking fed up with each other at this point because <laughs> we're exhausted. We've been with each other all day, every day for the past five days, and um, we split off into our groups. And you, it was you, me, Nathan, and Ashley on the People Mover. They got on a separate train. So they were like the car behind us and we were in front. And I remember we go through a dark tunnel and they just disappeared. <laughs> yeah. They were on the floor doing whatever with each other. And yeah. that's when I noticed it. I was like, oh. <laughs> you didn't notice it because they, were then on they the would floor be like canoodling. making out with each other. Yeah. Well, they'd be making out with each other over here on the side. And <laughs> like, well, get, all, get all touchy feely, like feeling each other up. Yes. Super weird. You know, it was funny because I remember the clip perfectly from the people mover. Um, it The reason we noticed it was because 
when we went in that dark tunnel, I told you, I was like, I'm going to do the arm dance because there's another car coming the other direction. So I was like, I'm going to get <laughs> yeah. down. And then when we get out of the tunnel, I'm going to like jump up and do the arm dance at this oncoming tram. Yes. And I, I do I, remember that. And I, I did that and then like turned to look to see their reaction. And then when I turned to look, <laughs> the camera like pans over perfectly where you see me do a double take because like I look to see the people and then was like, something's not right here. And then turned around and like Nathan and Ashley are just gone. Okie pokey on the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we had to like lean over to see them like on the floor. Yes. And then I, progressively like more and more and more and i could tell people were getting fed up with you and i be we wouldn't shut up and quit smacking and saying dot and day and <laughs> you can just tell because people were like rolling their eyes pissed off yeah just done with our shit Road. Dot day. Dot day. <laughs> well even cody at that point like stopped hanging out with us it was just me you nathan and ashley and i think the only reason ashley was hanging out with us was because she was like <laughs> feeling up nathan's package <laughs> yes <laughs> so it, it was really just like me and you and we were having a blast oh yeah girl we were dotting dan all over disney world Ooh, children were listen, scared i think we were the only people who were having fun on that trip <laughs> <laughs> dot and day, dot and day, dot and day. <laughs> Uh, good news though but i just remember morgan stopped crying at this day morgan did stop well she stopped crying until the end of fireworks and then she started crying again because <laughs> yes. some and someone went up to her and was like this is it we're never gonna be together again and yeah then she, started bawling her eyes out. <laughs> and she didn't stop so she had like a a four hour long reprieve of crying <laughs> i uh I just remember because most of that day was just a complete blur. And I want to try and find pictures of it because it was super fun. But um, I just remember everyone was fed up with us. And then whenever it was time for fireworks, they literally sat us down for electrical parade two hours before parade. So oh, we were in the mess. burning sun just sitting there. <laughs> just sitting on Main Street. No one else is sitting down. Like literally no one else. We were the only group sitting down and we were cheering for people as they were walking by. We looked like a bunch of white hillbilly idiots. Yeah, like. it was pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah! 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 Random people! Yeah! Go, go! I do remember something else from Magic Kingdom, which was Space Mountain. Do you remember what I did on Space Mountain? No. With my, excuse me, with my jello. Whoa. Bo uh, sorry, that just like slipped out. Um, with my like jello bones. I cannot remember. I don't, I don't know where this picture exists at. Um, I, it's probably scrubbed from the face of this earth. But that's right. You picked up your foot and put it in your mouth. Close. Um, so Space Mountain, for those that don't know, it's like kind of like a cylindrical like tube type thing. So there's not really a lot of room to move around. Like you're kind of like locked in where you're at. Yeah. And at some point, my body could just do whatever it wanted. And <laughs> some, when you were young, literally somehow. I got my foot like out of the little area that it was supposed to be in. And I put it behind my head right before the picture. So like I, it wasn't like I did it like when we were getting seated and like I did like the whole ride like that. No, we were like whipping around at like 40 miles an hour, like going up and down hills. And I'm <laughs> over here like grabbing my leg and like throwing it behind my head. Okay, I do remember this. <laughs> it literally was horrifying. I'm sure all of like the moms that came up and saw that picture were just terrified of what they were looking at. Man, I want to know if I saw a picture of that. I used it's probably in my memory somewhere. I know I put it on Instagram at one point um, in high school, but that Instagram got hacked by like some... Uh, 
Norwegian sexy, girl. sexy lady, and I never got it back. And she started posting porn on my uh, Instagram, and then it got took down. <laughs> yeah. So everyone was like, "Why are you posting like female anatomy on your?" It's like, well, no, you know, sometimes that's ha- what's happened when you get your Instagram taken over by <laughs> Natasha. Yes. So I don't, I don't think that picture exists. But the electrical parade went through, and then it was the Celebrate the Magic show, the projection show, and that's when all the girls started crying. <laughs> yep. And then it was Wishes. I do think that was a nice little finale. So everyone's already bawling their eyes out. Wishes starts. Yes. Wishes starts, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and it never ended. Chris died. <laughs> But that's when everyone just started bawling their eyes out. And um, literally, that was it. Like, death no, to you, us all. Because You forgot the one thing that happened um, while everyone else was bawling their eyes out. Uh, me and you were doing our own thing. What happened? Oh, you know what? I'm going to back up. What did we a, do? I'm going to back up for a second. Because I remember before the parade started, when we were all like gathered as a group sitting on the concrete like weirdos i want to say it was like <laughs> yeah okay i found our senior senior trip pictures oh, i didn't find the um the roller coaster one but i found a few funny ones um i do remember one of us that phantasmic oh god oh yeah because i bought that stupid ass string toy Yes. It's like one of those like magic we string babies. toys that like light up and like you can like control it with your fingers. And I was like acting like a maniac with it. Uh, it, it oh my god, it broke the next day. Yes, yes, it did. I think it broke that night. It probably did, but right before the electrical parade, it was like when people were actually starting to congregate. So there was like a lot of people there, and they like had started to like rope off that section. I yep. I remember I was I was coerced by pretty much the entire class to run down the street and, and do, the arm. do the arm dance. <laughs> so the entire like crowd of people like cheered for me running down the street doing the arm dance. That was like the, yes. the magnum opus of the arm dance. <laughs> I remember that. Oh my god. Um, but uh, back to what I was saying so about funny. wishes. Do you remember? what we were talking about while everyone else was bawling their eyes out that still like lasts to this day every time I talk to you about Disney no and I'm sad I can't remember <laughs> we were talking about how when Tinkerbell at the when very end, at, at the very <laughs> at the very end of the show Tinkerbell like flies out of the castle and like goes all the way down Main Street and there's fireworks <laughs> going off and it's very pretty but we were sitting there like laughing yeah. our asses off because we were like, what if when Tinkerbell flies out of the castle, a firework hits her and she catches on fire and there's just a giant fireball flying across the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I still think Girl, that's... we were thinking drunk thoughts and we were completely sober. <laughs> well, it's because we literally hadn't slept in like 60 hours. But that thought alone, uh, like to this day, I still think is one of the funniest, like mental images I have just of this woman flying across Disney World on fire, screaming <laughs> as there's just children watching in horror <laughs> and no one can do anything. <laughs> yes. Oh, so funny. <laughs> but that was pretty much it. So we, stupid. Uh, Morgan was crying again at this point and she didn't stop until we got back and until after graduation. And then she literally moved back down there because she couldn't get away. She couldn't get enough. She couldn't give she it did up. The college program. And she's still down there as a maid. Yes, I remember that. Isn't she still like a maid at grand Floridian or something? No. Okay. So her, her college program was the grand Floridian, but she was in merchandise and then she came back home and then her and her husband moved down here. She's an elementary school teacher. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Like, literally, when I was living um, by SeaWorld, she taught at a school, like, a block away from me. <laughs> That's funny to and think about. I was like, it. oh, my God. And you guys have never, like, run into each other since you've been working down there. 
We never ran into each other. We're not even friends. I know. I just think that'd be so funny because I doubt she even realizes you're down there because like that that's how so far removed we were from her like friend group. Yes. But you know what? Every time Lincoln comes down or at least the past couple of years I've been here, they're always like, hey, Chris, where are you working today? <laughs> I'm like, I can't tell you. But so-and-so might love to see you at Phantasma. You can't tell them, but you don't want to tell them. See, that's the other thing. I'm like, uh, you know, I told you I was going to be a lawyer whenever I graduated high school, so maybe I should be telling you this. <laughs> you did not tell people you were going to be a lawyer. Did you ever tell someone you are going to be a lawyer? Mm-mm. No, I was just kidding. I was no, what say, I was wanting to be was a pharmacy tech. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, girl, if you told anyone that you were going to be a lawyer after you graduated high school, I would be concerned for those poor defendants. <laughs> yeah, I know. I would have to go on stand as a character witness against you. <laughs> like, hi, can I just show this clip Stupid. of um, – your prosecutor yeah this is him on our senior trip um he's trying to say i'm sorry right here (laughs) (laughs) there's like yeah you need to like throw him in prison please yeah (laughs) i know he he's not the one on trial but like just do us all a favor but no my my goal was to be a pharmacy tech and it just and it did not work (laughs) it did not pan out Nope, it did not. So, and I'm kind of glad it didn't. And now you're back where high school ended. You're at Disney. I am here at Disney living. You're you've uh, you've not left pretty much. Like you you got down there. It's like this is where I'm staying now. I know. I did cruise line, and then. Yeah, but yeah. like you made your way. Like, it was and it was a long journey. I've never really left way. Disney. Yeah. <laughs> And that's going to have to be its own separate episode is your Disney escapades. Yes. Yes, it will. <laughs> but senior trip wise, I think that was pretty much it because after that, we just all got back on a plane and we literally all slept and didn't do anything until we got home. Yeah. The plane ride was completely silent on the way home, <laughs> but they gave us that night rest because graduation practice was the next day. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Gross. Yeah, so it it never stopped. We, it never it stopped. was nonstop go, go, go. Uh, Morgan's ears, uh, they did not pop on the way back, though. So she didn't cry at graduation. <laughs> well, she cried for other reasons. Yeah, yeah, but not for the ears. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you think maybe that's why she moved back? Because she felt like she like messed up the senior trip? Because she like ruined the entire thing she was crying for four days straight i want to know what her roommates thought of her when she did college program oh i thought you meant during the senior trip when she was like crying the entire time like girl i would have been pissed off if you were crying she was with all her friends oh girl you know if if this was me and you like if i started crying for three days straight because my ears wouldn't pop (laughs) and we were bunking together i would have just made fun of you the whole time there would have been a series of events that would have happened. You would have made fun of me. You would have like told me to like man up and pop my ears. And then you would have like probably kicked me out of the room. I was like, I probably would have just beat you up. I would have been like, this yeah. is it. You're done. <laughs> You're I'll done. give you something to cry yeah. about. <laughs> cry about this. But that was our, our senior trip. It was uh, memorable. There was a lot of pictures, a lot of fun clips. I'm going to try and show some of the, uh, the clips on the YouTube video. Um, I'm sorry if they're cringeworthy and gross. It's just what it is what it was. We had no sleep. So just girl, I can't wait to see them. I love going through stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's it. So Chris, do you have anything else about the senior trip you want to add? No, no, (laughs) you're dying. You're like, I never want to relive it again. Listen, we relived it and I'm happy and we can let it lay to rest. We can lay it to rest. Oh, and uh, we can report that Ashley and Nathan did not become a thing. Uh, It actually ended about a day after graduation. Literally. um, Well, no, it was. They lasted a week. That sounds about right. Ashley was like, I'm looking for someone who wants to start a family now. Yeah. (laughs) 
Do we know and what's going on with like, Ashley, by the way? Just like a random side tangent before we end. Like, what is she doing? I have not heard anything from her since we graduated. I think she had like four or five babies and she's a stay at home mom. That sounds about right. Yeah. So she's living what she wanted to do. Well, good for Ashley. Um, and Nathan found himself uh, not Ashley. So Danny. Um, Yes. And they're moving back home. They're moving back to Tulsa. Oh my god, they are? Yeah. Let's go. They already started. They're moving back sometime uh, this month. Yes. We could actually like get Nathan on for a guest episode then. I was like, I was so happy about that. Because they liked living out in Colorado, but it was too expensive for them. And I think Nathan just misses home. Yeah, so... uh Chris, you're the only one left. You need to start moving back to uh, Tulsa and then we can, you know, get the gang back together. Well, I would, <laughs> but um, I'm too successful out here. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just living my best life. You, you know, you know. <laughs> you're welcome. Dumb day. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's one of my favorite you things know. that came out of being on the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if, I don't know where I was going to go with that. Uh, but yeah, that was our senior trip. Um, if you took anything out of it, just uh, remember dot and day. Um, go tell it to your friends. Anytime you need to say sorry, instead of saying, I'm sorry, say dot and day. That's it. Yeah. That's all. That's all she wrote. So thank you so much for all, all right. Well, sorry for wasting your time. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the uh, sister girl gossip where we talked about honestly just ragging on Morgan for like an hour. <laughs> You know, it's her own fault. <laughs> She's out there living, though. So, like, go teach those elementary school children. Go teach those little brats. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching Sister Girl Gossip. In the next episode, we'll talk about something else. So, enjoy that. Bye. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Dot and day. <laughs> Dot and day. <laughs>